Hi guys, Diane here. I actually wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you if you are a visionary. So how do you know if you are a visionary? If you have a ton of ideas, um, if you have a ton of you know ideas and projects and you have big ambitious goals, but you find that you're losing your momentum when you start the actual building process, or if you're constantly just adding one other project, which is one more little project to your team's plate or your to-do list, then you might be a visionary. So, you know, if you work in this way, it can be really hard to get traction, to get momentum and start to build and create because those nitty gritty details aren't the best place that, for you to operate. Maybe, you, um, maybe it feels a little uncomfortable or boring or tedious to do those pieces, the actual step-by-step methodological building piece might not be, you know, your sweet spot or your area of expertise or the area that you like to play in. So how do you work to your advantage when you are the idea creator, the idea generator, when you have all the opportunities, all the ideas, the ability to connect them and put them all together? What do you have to do to be able to bring those um, goals and those ideas and those opportunities to life? Because what I see so often is that a lot of visionaries get stuck in the ideation and they can't make they can't get any traction or they can't make progress in building because it's just not the area that they like to operate in, right? So it's kind of uh, a, it's a slog to do that kind of work. So if you're this kind of person where you have a ton of ideas, what can you do to actually get momentum on them? Well, first of all, you have to get help or you have to get a team, right? You need to have some people who can help you execute your vision. What do these people look like? These people are probably a little bit opposite of you. They need a little more information. Maybe they are uh, more grounded. They have a little bit more um, in terms of the detail orientedness. Um, you know, they have more of a logical thought pattern to be able to put things together for you. If getting a team is out of you know, the question, right? So then I suggest that you really cut back on your goals. I know, I know, I know, like I work with a lot of visionaries. I am a little bit of a visionary myself. So I have a lot of ideas and I see these people in my own clients who have so many ideas um, that it can feel overwhelming when you're trying to lift all of them, right? So if you absolutely cannot hire anyone, if you absolutely cannot bring on a part-time team member, or outsource things to a VA or, you know, hire someone overseas, then the next best thing to do as a visionary is to scale back, right? Hit pause. Don't try and bring all of the projects online all at once, right? Pick one. Pick the one biggest, the ripest opportunity for you at this moment and see that one through as much as you can um, on your own. Um, I know that this can be a little bit difficult, especially if you're really that deep visionary where you have so many opportunities and ideas coming to you. But this is, a, but without a team, the only way is to really pare down your actual, your project list, all of your priorities, reprioritizing and scaling back. So if you, the best way to actually do this is to have a team to help you so you can lift more than one project and you get that gratification. You see them all moving forward and you can continue to ideate a little bit faster. So what do you actually need to be able to execute? Well, the first things that you need to execute, you need to really de clearly define what it is you want to build. What does it look like at the end? Um, whether you have a team or whether you're doing this on your own, define what that project or what that goal looks like at the end. What I get with a lot of visionaries is that they have the idea, they have like, a, you know, kind of a, 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 it's an ambitious end goal. They have a general idea, but not necessarily the full vision, the full picture of what it is. Well, you don't necessarily need to get into the detailed nitty gritty, but you need to figure out the full vision, you know, comprehensively, what does it actually look like so that you can start building and, um, you know, chunking down what those pieces are so that you can build in a really logical step-by-step -step manner or that you can parcel it out to other people who can help you with that build, right? So if you are a visionary and you find yourself a little bit uncomfortable with having to do the build yourself um, or having to figure out all the details or put them all together, drop me a line below. Let me know what you're thinking. This is kind of my area of expertise and I'm always happy to give you feedback or let's hop on a call and talk about how we can get you clear on what you're going to build and your next big ambitious goal. All right. Until next time, this is Diane. Thanks guys. Bye.